everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing a large image background that I made with some Cracker Box and Suzy stamps. But before I start that, please remember to follow me on my social media pages. They are all linked down in the description boxes below. And if you haven't already, you can click the subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, you can also click that like button down below as well. Now on to the card. It's going to be a quick card. There is a lot of coloring. Now I'm using Cracker Box and Suzy stamps, like I said, all the supplies and everything is going to be listed down in the description box. If you have any questions, you can head down there and find all of So this card is made with Cracker Box and Suzy stamps, and it is for the Coffee Lovers blog hop. This is a week-long blog hop that takes place four times a year. There are a ton of prizes. All you need to do is make a card or a project that is coffee, tea, or hot cocoa inspired. You can enter your card at the link down below in the description box. Again, tons of prizes. You just need to enter by December 7th. So if you're watching this video after, please know that it is already closed and wrapped up. Now I am starting off with two stamps from Cracker Box and Suzy Stamps. I'm starting with this coffee cup and also this little candy cane. These are both larger images, but I still wanted to make a background with them. So I went ahead and cut a piece of cardstock this measures three and three quarter inches by five inches tall. I am using my midnight ink pad from Katherine Pooler and I am stamping onto my white cardstock with my different stamps, twisting them this way and that, and just kind of fitting as many as I can on there. Then I'll go ahead and take my smallest one, my little candy cane, and fill in all those little white areas on the edge. Um, just putting little bits and pieces on there to fill in all those areas. Now normally I use my Misty to do my stamping. When I don't though, I always like to put a piece of fun foam. This is a very thick fun foam. You can use a mouse pad, a notebook, a magazine, and then I just lay a piece of computer paper over that on top to catch all the extra ink that falls off the background or that doesn't get stamped onto the background. But that gives me a nice soft surface to stamp on. So once I had my stamping done, it was time to start coloring in this background. Now this card is mostly coloring. I decided to go ahead and make my background the focal point. It has such large images on it. I thought, why add more to it? So I decided to go ahead and take my time with coloring. That is the one thing I would suggest. If you are going to make a background your focal point, put a little extra effort into it. Now the majority of the time I don't do this much coloring on a card. I am not that great at it, but I tried my best here. So I am using Dick Blick Studio brush markers. I use these all the time. I am going to switch to a different marker here in just a minute though. I started off with red, added a little cream to the top, and then I'm coloring in all of those little holders that you don't burn your hand with. I'm coloring those in with some browns to make it look more like a craft. I like to start with my lightest color, work my way towards my dark, and then come back in with my lightest color and blend everything out. You do what works best for you though. I know everybody has their different way they like to color. Now it was time to color in all of my little cups with green. Now I have these new markers. They are artist sloth. They are from Michaels. I found these when I was on vacation with my family. I stopped by Michaels and just was roaming and I seen these and I had to pick up a few to try them. So I've been playing around with these. I'm going to use the green ones today. They have a brush and they have a chisel side. I will... Uh, I don't remember the exact cost of these, and I think it's probably going to depend on your Michael's store, but I will leave what I paid for them down below on the screen, but again, that might change, and also there are going to be sales, you can use coupons, that kind of thing, but I'm using two colors here. Now, one thing that I will say about these markers, the brush is a little bit, the brush nib is a little bit firmer than my Dick Blick brush markers. I thought I wasn't going to like it. I have to say I love it, especially in those small spaces. It really allows me to get in precise and not have my brush bend all over the place. Um, I again started with my lightest color, went to my darkest. I didn't have a medium shade here. I only picked up a few colors. I wasn't going to sure if I wasn't sure if I was going to like these, so I didn't want to buy a ton of them. But I came back in with my lightest and blended that out. I love the way this turned out, though. These actually worked very good, and I love the green color of these. 
Now, anywhere where I went outside the lines, I didn't have any bleeding issues or anything. I just am a messy person and I'm a messy color. It happens. So I went outside the lines a few places. I just come in with a white gel pen. I find that works best for me to cover up any of my mistakes. There is a closer look at the background, all colored in and ready to go. A little look at the bleeding from behind too. These do bleed, but all alcohol markers do. It's gonna happen, that just means they're blending well. Now once I had that done, it was time to move on to my sentiment. So I am using this sentiment from Cracker Box and Susie Stamps. It says, the chill of winter is warm by friendship. I stamped that on a piece of white cardstock, and then I was feeling like this needed a little something extra. So I grabbed this sheer shimmer spritz, and this is just exactly what it sounds like. It's a sheer glittery spray. This is in the sparkle color, and it doesn't put any color down. It's a nice clear color, but it had so much shine. I gave it about three spritzes. I did the same to my sentiment. It's going to be bright, but this is the only way I could get to show that shine that this adds to the background. I love it. It's so pretty. You're not going to be able to see it once I put my little thing back over my light because you need that really strong light or you need to be in person to see this. I did try and get a photo. You can kind of see it, but again, this is one of those products that you really can't show off in a video or in a photo. It's kind of a real life thing that really just kind of wowed you. So I went ahead and mounted that panel onto a craft, not a craft mat, it's a dark red mat that I went ahead and cut out. And then I'll put that entire thing onto an A2 top folding card base. I'm using double sided adhesive. You can use liquid adhesive, whatever works best for you. I went ahead and put my sentiment on the same color of cardstock mat that I did the background on, added a little dimensional adhesive to the back of that, and I'll pop that right in the center of the card. Like I said before, I really wanted the background to be the focal point of this, so I left it very simple, just with the few mats and the sentiment right in the center. I wanted to add a little bit something more to that background, so I grabbed my white gel pen, and I'm just gonna add little highlights here and there on the red parts that I colored in. I tried to do it on the coffee cup lids as well, but it just wouldn't show up, it was such a light color. So I added those little bitty accents with my white gel pen, and that completely finished off the card for today. This was such a fun one to make. It's a little bit different for me. I don't really color that much, but I do love the way this one turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy this final look at a few pictures that I did of this card. I think by adding just those little bitty touches of white gel pen, it really helped make this background pop away from that sentiment I put on top, which I felt even that kind of overpowered the card in the end. That is going to do it for me today. There are going to be links on the left side of your screen you can click on. If you want to watch more videos from me, you can also subscribe to my channel over there as well. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching today and happy crafting.